Hello everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a colouring chat in Chibi Witches. Just to say hello if you're a regular subscriber um, and visitors to the channel, thank you uh, for coming back and joining in again. If you're new, well thank you for coming and I hope you will subscribe if you're not already uh, subscribed. So please do, it's really great. I love to see um, all your comments as well. We're going to colour in Chibi Witches by Coco Wayo. I've had these books for a while and I thought... Uh, I could colour in them and uh, see what we've, you know, just do a picture in here and, and have a quick catch up and see how we're going. So I'm going to be using a mixture of Windsor and Newton and um, Touch 5, because I've got some of them hanging around, and the Arteza pens. They're all the ones that are around, you see, so. So how is everybody? I hope you're all right. We're well here, plodding on, trying to still sell stuff on my eBay account. I am selling stuff. It's not selling as well as I as quickly as I'd like, but that's just the way it goes. It, you know, I am selling stuff, so you know, let's just see how it goes. Um, when it comes to cameras, my problem is I like to really test them before I list them. I love testing cameras. <laughs> Some of them I want to keep, but I'm not going to. With selling it is a waiting game, especially with niche items like cameras. You've got to get the person who's looking for what you've got at the right time. So this one's dusky pink, I think, or something like that. So it is October. It's Halloween month. Jennifer's getting excited for Christmas. It's not, you know, we haven't even had Halloween yet, but you know, you know what kids are like. So it's good. She's very happy. And that, that's what I want. She's happy, I'm happy, but uh, she's been fun, you know. You see her in the in the weekly vlogs, sometimes she pops up, so, which is good. She enjoys it. She's been ever so good lately, going to bed without any issues, going to bed in her own bed without complaining, saying she actually wants to sleep in her own bedroom. She thinks, she, she thinks see, that Santa won't come if she doesn't sleep in her own room. So she can't wait for Christmas, obviously. And she likes um, Halloween. Halloween falls in half term, so the kids are actually off school for Halloween, um, which is kind of nice. So we go out and do something. I mean, Paul's got one day off that week, which is good, but uh, I wish he had a bit more, but it is what it is. He's got what he can off. And, uh, yeah. I'm just having a quick drink because I'm thirsty. I've got a can of cola here. I only drink a couple of cans a day. I'm trying to lay off it a bit and drink water more. I'm doing a lot more walking at the moment, mainly because the car's not working. Well, the car is working. Um, in the UK, we have such a thing. If, I know you don't, not everybody, had, we have a thing called uh, the MOT. And cars over a certain age, I think it's five years old, uh, have to have a MOT every year to check that the car's roadworthy. And they check things like the airbags, um, uh, the um, lights, that your plates are right, uh, your seat belts are working, um, the, the, the integrity of the car is structurally sound, and of course the tyres are okay. Now my car's got a bit of rust and I need a bit of welding done and that's fine, my mechanic is doing it. The problem we have that obviously now we're into the latter half of the year, the weather is not the best. So at the moment, the sun is shining and it is stunning outside. However, this afternoon, by the time I go to pick up Jennifer, it's supposed to be hammering down, which is not good. I do not like the rain. Well, I don't mind the rain, but it's not good to get wet, but we will get wet. Um, I'm just having a look for a colour for, yes, that. Uh, da, 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 da. What colour is that? Where is it? I'll do. That's the one. Um, yeah, so we are having to walk until I get the car back. So, And he's like, he said he might have to have the car for the most part of the week because of the rain, which is annoying, but it will be okay. It's good for me, it's good exercise, get some steps in, get uh, the uh, 
walking done. I do have an app on my phone, a couple of apps that count my steps. One of them eventually will give me some money. It's not a lot and it takes a lot of steps to get there. But it just runs in the background. I go and collect the coins every day. And when it gives me a, it gives me the payout, which is only a tenner, I'll get an Amazon voucher and I'll probably get a colouring book or two, depending on what I want. Um, there's always a load of books we want. Um, which is nice, you know, they keep putting them out, but... It's, it's very weird not buying colouring books, because obviously I used to buy so many, and now I'm not buying hardly any at all. As like I said, I'm only buying... Uh, I get the... until the end of the year I'll be getting the subscription for... Um, colour in heaven uh, but at the end of the year that will run out and I've not re I've told Paul not to get it again I've got so many colour in heavens that I have not coloured in I've got a huge stack of them that I just can't keep up with it because I like to colour different things I don't just want to colour one single thing at a time I'm going to do a hat green I like green <laughs> so yeah so I've got it's just ridiculous so many books I am going to do a video after this one or in a bit of every single book I haven't coloured in obviously this one won't be in it because we've coloured in it now um as I said I mentioned it and somebody said yeah do that that'll be fun I mean but there's so many it might be in more than one part um I'll put it at the end let me know which one if there's any in this book you want me to colour on camera because it'll it'll give me the impetus you know kick up the bum to actually do it so I've got time this week to actually do colouring um, I do want to go out and take some photos and rolls these rolls of film in the cameras just to check these cameras are all right and um, so I can get some more listed and photographed because some of the cameras they're worth a lot of money but only if they work so, yeah, it's one of those things with, um, especially the expensive ones you want to uh, test. I also like to sometimes try them out as well to see. I think I've got sort of like four Nikons that I need to list. One of them I've got a roll of film in to get in, and now they're one of the most popular brands, obviously Nikon and Canon. I don't mind. I, I like them. I do. They're very nice, nice cameras. Um, it's just trying to get everything done, isn't it? You know, um, I could go out for a walk this morning and do it, but I don't really. I wanted to get some filming done for you guys because you are so patient with me that I just feel like I owe it to you to, to do this. And I enjoy it, and I, like I said, I haven't been coming much in the last month or so, so I thought if I do this, it's a picture, and I'm enjoying it, and I'm, I'm liking the chatting to you guys, it's all fun. Um, I don't know what we'll do when Jennifer gets home. We, we still plan on making a video together, it's just we haven't got around to it yet. I mean, I'm upstairs at my desk doing it where I do my eBay drafting and listing in my little office uh, now because Paul's working but with both of us colouring we would need to be downstairs on the dining table so we'll have a look um, see what we can do we've got the tiny houses I think it is or something I'm not sure which one it is tiny animals the Jade Summer book she wanted to colour in that one so I said come on then we'll colour in it together we'll share this book and we'll use this on our our colouring chat things when we do our colouring chat so it's colouring with Jen it's going to be called she loves colouring she colours so many she's very quick because obviously I mean, sometimes I use pencils and it does take a while and sometimes I don't um, but even when I'm using I like to try and get no gaps but even she's colouring so much better her pictures get 
brilliant she does like me to post them on instagram and i do um i post them on instagram whenever i can i've just got to change the battery okay i'm back <laughs> So I'm just checking everything. Won't be a sec. Get that in a bit. So we're just doing her hat. I've just put the other battery on charge, which is great. Give it another coat. Um, yeah, so we've put another um, battery on charge because uh, I'll be filming a fair bit this morning. I might as well take advantage and do as much filming as I can. I might do a reading wrap up afterwards. Um, yeah, in the other room where the books live. Well, they live in this room really, but yeah, and I've not read as much as I like to, but I mean, I'm currently reading Under the Whispering Door by TJ Clune and The Hollywood Book of Death. I know. Uh, basically, it's a little overview of the careers of certain legends. I've just read uh, John Barrymore. And um, it gives you a view of their life, brief overview of their life, and then the circumstances surrounding their death, which is interesting. So, but I don't read it all in one go because, it, God, it'd be so depressing. But I do like to read a little bit every now and again. I read a bit last night because I left under the whispering door downstairs and I thought I can't bother to go and get it. My problem is though, right, I love books and I love reading and I love colouring as you know, but I, um, I get distracted both from colouring and from reading by various other things that I can be doing. So for instance, there's this website called List Challenges and I'm, I'm obviously, I'm on that. And you can uh, post lists and check off things on lists. So for instance, a bucket list or uh, all the Oscar winning films from the first Oscar ceremony to 2023 and it'll list them all and then you can check off which ones you do. So there are various categories. They have movies, they have food, they have travel, they have other and they do have, uh, did I say movies? And books. And of course, I love doing the books ones, and I am there for hours. Where is that one? Yeah, there. I'm there for hours doing these books, and I'm all the time. I'm thinking, do you know, I could be actually reading a book right now, and instead, I'm just sitting there looking at books other people have read and checking off which ones I've read, thinking, oh, I want to read that book, and I've got that book, but I haven't read it yet. Oh, it's terrible. It, it, it is. It's so easy to get distracted and then not do what you're supposed to. But oh, I love things like list, list challenges. It's so much fun trying to grab those things, you know? Um, and they give you stars for, you know, you get a star for the first book you check off and then period, periodically throughout up to five. And then you add them up and it gives you your stats on the website. So you could be, um, you could have like, be in the top 10% or something. I don't know. I am not, I've got like about 6,000, nearly 7,000 stars, which isn't a huge amount. A lot of people have a lot more. And uh, I think it's quite funny actually. It's just something to do, but I always do it when I'm in bed and I should be reading my book, not looking at other books. I do get distracted that way. And Goodreads, I'll look, look at Goodreads for ages, see what everybody else is doing on their challenge, even though I'm so far behind on mine. I know I'm not going to hit it. It doesn't bother me. I'm not one of those people who gets really upset and, and about it. It's like, oh, well, okay, I aimed a bit high this year because I did so well last year. Let's, you know, not worry about it. Let's do something else. Let's get something else. Let's, you know, let's read a different book. You know, next year we'll change the way I do it and I do like to change it up a bit so for instance last year 
I did a uh, God, I'm, I can't think a challenge on yeah, um, Stephen King and classics. This year I did ma new Marilyn books, old Hollywood books, and Agatha Christie. Now, new Marilyn and Agatha Christie is way up to date. The old Hollywood one isn't. This is why I've been reading Book of Death. And I'm not worried about it so much. If I don't do it, I don't do it. But next year I've decided I am not going to set myself a challenge like that at all. And instead what I'm going to do is just read whatever I want, whenever I want. Um, the challenges are fun. If I want to read a classic, which I will, because I do like reading the classics, I will read one. If I don't want to read one, I won't. If I want to read Stephen King, which I've got a couple of Stephen Kings, I will. So, I mean... It's very odd, you know. Trying to do all this stuff and have fun and earn money. So... Obviously I will be getting new books at some point for us to do, but when you see how many uncoloured books I have got, you will understand why I do need to cut back. Um, it's not just about finances, though that is one of the main things. It's mostly because I have got so many books that I have not yet coloured in. There are tons of them. So I want to colour in them all. And then, you know, colour get get a few of them down, and then colour in, maybe get some more. Obviously, I'm still getting colour in heaven at the moment, till the end of the month, at uh, the end of the year rather. After that, it's like I said, we go to Tesco every few weeks to pick up things like cat food and stuff, because she only likes the stuff from Tesco. She's a funny old cat. And I said, what I'll do is I'll have a look. And if it's something I'm interested in, I'm on the group, I'll see the pictures anyway. And if it is something I want, or I think, oh yeah, I like the look of that, I can go and have a quick flick through it and pick it up. And then if it's something I'm not that keen on, and there are times when I'm not that keen on. So for instance, the cat book, I've done one picture in the cat book, but I'm not keen on colouring cats or animals for that matter. So those sorts of ones I would probably not bother with. But things like the fantasy stuff, most of them I would probably still want to buy. And some of the collection, um, for instance, you know, like the Wizard of Oz one. I love the Wizard of Oz. So it's all that sort of stuff. You've got to just try and think about what you can do instead. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've lost the plot today. Oh, well, there we go. I'll do a socks that colour as well. I can't see a sock, so I'm just going to pull it out a bit because... There's a, oh, there's a post in the middle of my desk. <laughs> I like my desk, but it's not that big. It's big enough for this. Well, like I said, it's not big enough for both me and Jen to do stuff at. I'm feeling really tired as well. I always get tired around lunchtime. It's not lunchtime yet, it's about 10, it's gone 10-ish, but... So yeah, it's, I am not looking forward to picking Jennifer up today. It is supposed to absolutely hammer down this afternoon. And yeah, no, not good. Not good at all, I'm afraid. Um, what's this one? I've still got, this was the very first set of alcohol markers I bought. And this was way, way back before COVID, way before Jennifer was born. And some of them still work. I like this one, which I'm going to do is shoes in this colour. As you can see, and it's still really juicy. I'm surprised they didn't dry out, to be honest. So yeah, I've got a little thing here that I've got pens in, because I'm, I'm colouring in another um, book as well. What was I doing? Oh, I missed that bit there. I'm going to do it this colour. It's very sim similar anyway. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm colouring in another book that's very... Yeah, as well. Um, so I need the... It's a colour by number book. So I always keep the pens out from a colour by number book. And then I put them away. 
as and when. I need to, there you go, that's her down. So yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got all my markers here. Uh, oh, I'm gonna give a burgundy coloured hair. I don't know why, I just think it might be different. <laughs> oh, you could do some funny stuff, can't you? brown eyes <laughs> it's just one of those oh, 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 no. I can't even think what I call them our teasers actually I don't think I will do a hair burgundy I think I'll do it the same colour as her eyes and I'll use the burgundy for something else like one of the books or something. I don't, I, I don't plan colours, I just colour. Uh, if I planned to colour in and use charts and palettes and that, I wouldn't enjoy it. The whole thing for me is that I just have fun and relax and if it doesn't look brilliant, it doesn't look brilliant. I don't care. I do love colouring so much. So Zed's okay. Um, probably have to take her to the vet soon because she's over grooming herself for some reason. And I can't see that she's got any fleas, but that doesn't mean to say that she hasn't got something. So we need to check, get her checked out, I think. Um. It's all good. I don't know what that is behind her there. I don't think it's her hair. It might be the moon. I'm going to do it as part of her hair. It's not, but it is now. I do hate it when artists do that and make it so you can't see what something is. So I know there's a lot of backlash against AI art. Um, I don't particularly like AI at all. I think it distorts something that was once beautiful. Um, I'm talking about putting old photographs through it. I, I, I know it has a purpose if you want to just colourise something, that's fine. But when it takes out all the blemishes out of a person, all of them, and makes it look like, you know, waxwork or a doll, it doesn't look real, then I get a bit annoyed. They do it a lot with Marilyn and I'm like, it doesn't even look like her anymore. So don't do it she would have hated it but that's another story um so obviously in the coloring book world ai art basically it scans the internet and strips elements from different artists that's from what i gather now i think that it's It's not going to go away, sadly. Um, I wish it would. The only thing we can hope for, it would be like the whole technology platforms crashing, but that would mean losing the internet, which would mean losing all you guys, and I'd hate that. Um, but we do have to be careful that when buying art, that it's not AI, because AI will have ripped off other artists. And I've seen it, and you can see. And the thing is, the hand-drawn art looks so much better anyway. It does. I was looking at the ones that Mariola Budek uh, posted of her work that had been ripped off for AI. And her work is a hundred times better and looks a hundred times more realistic because she does realistic portraits than the AI version, which just, there's just something about it that doesn't look right, doesn't scan right. No, I'm not against it 100%. I think it will have its use once we can 
sort it out. But just buy from artists that you know and trust, such as Mario Boudec and Jade Summer said they will never use AI. Um, Karen Heaven says they'll never use AI. Um, then of course you've got Hannah Carlson, Carla Magania, all who um, handle their own stuff, which I think is great. Yes, it's all digitally drawn, but there's nothing wrong with that. Same as digital colouring. It's not something I would be interested in because um, I personally find sitting in front of a computer for too long or on an iPad, I don't have one, or on a desktop for too long every day. I get bored and I would get bored with it, but I do understand that for some people it may be the only way they can colour. And I like seeing it because it's amazing what people can do you know once they've learned I've got a friend who colors manually and digitally and she's an artist as well and I have no problem with that with the, the digital coloring I like to see them any any take on a picture is nice to see And it's going to be hard to discover which one's AI. I do think that Amazon are trying to root it out, but I'm not sure. I've heard that with um, certain things. I mean, even e eBay now has an AI feature where you can get it to write your descriptions for you. And I'm thinking, no, that is an INAD waiting to happen. An INAD is something that's an item not as described. So. It just means you've sent something that's not quite described the way you said it was. Um, and that could happen a lot with AI if you don't proofread it. Um, I, so I just it's just safer to write your own. Yes, it's quicker to use the AI feature, which would sell, save resellers a lot of time. But in the end, you've got to proofread it and, and check it's correct. Otherwise, you could get into trouble that way. So I find, find it's just better not to use it. I have my own way of laying things out and it's fine. We get there in the end, don't we? <laughs> There's been a post on Seesaw, which is uh, Jennifer's uh, school app. It's probably something they've been doing this morning. So have a look at that in a bit when we finish this. We've been going for nearly 30 minutes. There's not much of this left. I'll probably finish it off camera at some point. Because I don't see the point in just coming around and doing the books and that little bit of smoke there and there out of her wand. In a colour and chat, we'll just start a new picture. Maybe we'll do. Uh, maybe we'll do one of the ones from the colouring books I haven't coloured in. Who actually knows? <gasps> to see, won't we? I should probably put some glitter on, on here in a bit as well. Let's take it downstairs and finish it, I expect. But I do like it. I think she's very pretty. We can do it for a bit longer though, I think. I don't like to make it too long. I don't want you to get bored. I know not everybody watches the whole video. Some people will. But uh, I know not everybody does. And I don't understand. I, I don't always watch a whole colouring chat. I try to. But obviously I get distracted, I've got to go and make tea, that reminds me I've got to get something out of the freezer for tonight, I'll do that in a minute. And then we've got to have, you know, I've got to cook tea, so... I try and watch on my phone, to be honest, when Jennifer's home if she's watching on the TV. So if we're hopefully going to get her a tablet for Christmas, and then and a pair of headphones, and then she can sit and watch the stuff on her tablet with her headphones on, and that means that we'll be able to uh, watch what we want as well, which will be nice. I do try and... Oh, this one's not working very well. It's running out. Ooh, let's find a different red. We'll put that in like... Uh, that was a burgundy, wasn't it? What else have we got? 
Anything like that. Is that burgundy in the new set? Just one sec. I'm gonna have a quick. Here we go. I found a burgundy in the new set I've got. Hmm. So I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it shouldn't be much different. Oh, that's better. That's how it should look. Yes, that's much better. like colouring books although I do get fed up of colouring in books because I did that whole page in Romantic Country 2 which was Henry's books and it was like shelves and shelves of books and it took forever to do and I'm also doing bookshelves in the Colouring Heaven Colin Thompson one and yeah, I, I haven't done that for ages I'm going to try and pull that out and do a bit That's that one. That one's got to go back in and that one. Ah, da, 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 that one will do. But yeah, so it can be quite hard sometimes when you're trying to do stuff. This is Sienna Brown, so it's a bit completely different colour. nice to be able to colour in what would normally be my working hours but the, you know it is still working away I, I do get money from it slowly only a tiny little bit goes back into the channel mostly so yeah I'm quite happy just doing this and talking to my lovely friends if you were anybody wants to do a buddy color let me know in the comments below if you want to do one this month on a halloween one you'll you know uh most of my books are already up on this site so you can have a look um, and choose something um leave your if you've got a, a channel leave your channel handle below so i can get hold of you um if you've got uh, or your Instagram information and I can get hold of you by Instagram and so on so just you know give me a little nod and we can set up some sort of buddy colour I love buddy colouring um, I've got two tentatively planned for this month one with Molly yay if you want to choose a picture from that book that you've got the Alan Robert ones go ahead I've hardly done anything in them if anything and uh, send it to me um, Chelsea let me know what you want to do this month because uh, I'm looking forward to our buddy colour we didn't do one last month so it'd be nice to do one this month sometimes you don't sometimes you just can't it's just not possible to do it all the time um, but I do love a good buddy colour it's good fun to see how somebody colours it the same way as you do. I still can't figure out how to save them off of my Instagram to show you, but I'll have to work on that. <laughs> I'll have to work on it. Do, 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 do. Uh, no, not that one. Right, I'm going to call it a day there because my batteries run out again. And yeah. So I do hope that you've enjoyed this colouring chart. I'll finish this one off camera and you'll see it again at the end of the month when we do our completed pages. There's only a little bit left to do, it's not going to take me long. Um, I'll see you again very, very soon. I'm going to do my uncoloured books next. That could take a while. I'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, everyone.